Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today we will be doing the second part of my series, Course Selection for MCAT Success. In case you missed it in my last video, a user left a useful comment about uh, courses in the United States that are required for medical school. Basically, the bottom line is to make sure that you check with each school that you are interested in in order to find out what courses you will need because each school has different requirements. So make sure you do your research in advance to know what courses you will need to pick up in order to be able to apply to the medical schools you are interested in. Don't leave it to the last minute because if you are surprised, then you won't be able to apply to that school for that coming year. So I will be going through more courses that you can take in order to help prepare you for the MCAT exam. I am listing these courses under second year university because that is when my school uh, starts to offer these courses, but it may be different for your school, so check your academic calendar. These courses are not direct prerequisites for the MCAT, but they are quite useful because the MCAT contains a lot of content that is related to these courses. Genetics is a useful course to take because uh, the MCAT is starting to have an increasing amount of genetics because genetics is what is replacing some of the organic chemistry that used to be on the exam. So genetics is definitely one of the top courses you can take to help you with some of the MCAT material. Another very useful course you can take is physiology. Um, it is extremely useful for biological sciences and the, the majority of the material in the biological sciences section uh, you will cover in physiology if you didn't already cover it in first year biology. And physiology is basically the study of function, so it includes organ systems, nervous systems, and vascular biology, and among other topics. And all of these things will be very useful to you for the biological sciences section. Next on the list is biochemistry. Biochemistry is basically about macromolecules, so your amino acids, DNA, proteins, and carbohydrates. And these will show up in one form or the other in on the MCAT exam. So this is another useful course that you can take. Cell biology studies cell function and is useful for the biological sciences section. Pharmacology covers a lot of receptors and cell signaling, and both of these things um, are very useful for the biological sciences, especially with the uh, verbal reasoning type uh, biological science passages. And in addition, pharmacology, I found, is very useful for future science courses. That is uh, senior level science courses. Other courses that are somewhat useful for the MCAT but are not as highly ranked in the list are microbiology and immunology and anatomy. So in general, you are looking for survey courses. Survey courses are those courses that are introductory courses to a field. And these are useful because it gives you a broad overview of the entire field. And it touches upon everything, but doesn't go into anything too specialized. So the most common place you will find these survey courses is in second year, because in second year, you get out of the basic sciences, uh, biology, chemistry, and physics, and you start to get into more specialized material. But second year is still very general, and that's why you will find a lot of useful survey courses in that year. Third year has some survey courses, although they are less common than in second year. And third year also offers more specialized courses, and it is the more specialized courses that are less directly applicable to the MCAT. So that is why a lot of fourth year courses will not be directly useful for the MCAT because they are too specialized and lack the general type of uh, science knowledge that is tested on the MCAT exam. So you can also look for survey courses in social science and art courses as well because they will help you 
to improve your verbal reasoning and writing sample. But remember, you want to stay away from anything that is too specialized because it will be less directly applicable to the MCAT. So those are some general guidelines that will help you in choosing some courses that are useful for the MCAT. I obviously don't know everything about all the different kinds of courses, so if I missed any courses that are useful for the MCAT, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. So that's all for this episode. Any questions, comments, or discussion is welcomed. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.